Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Now, one of the things I love about Free Comic Book Day, other than it's free, is that I also get to discover comics I might have not checked out. Now, last month, I got to check out Firepower, issue number one, and I loved issue number one. I gave it a nine out of 10. But what about issue number two? Will the heat keep on burning? Well, let's get on with the review. In issue one, we learned about family man, Owen Johnson, who in the eyes of his peers, doesn't seem to have much going on for him, but he holds on to secrets from his past that he's more than just an average Joe. Issue number one concluded with a ninja infiltrating Owen's house, looking like he was ready to strike. And as soon as issue two starts, the ninja does strike and they will battle it out over the next five pages. Now the legend must be true that ninjas are silent assassins because through all this fighting back and forth, no one in the house is woken up. And for poor Owen, it won't be just one, but a trio of ninjas that he will have to contend with. Once Owen is done lighting up his oppositions, it's revealed that the mystery man from last issue, who goes by Ma, was behind this in pursuit to get Owen to come back to the temple with him because they need his assistance. But once again, Owen refuses. In issue number one, I felt like Owen had kept his past and his powers a secret, even from his family. But here in issue two, we find out that Owen's wife, Kelly, does know about his past, and she even suggests to Owen it's time to brush up on their training to avoid any rust for future attacks. The issue ends with yet another ninja eavesdropping in on the Johnsons' conversation, as Owen really believes there's nothing to worry about and that they are safe. The ninja reports to another man of mystery and tells them that they are not prepared for what's coming. None of them are. The mystery man with the tattoo on his arm says, that's what I was afraid of. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Firepower issue number two a six out of 10. Now issue number one of Firepower I thought had so much great intrigue, character development, mystery, and on the last page it left me with that oh shit type of moment. Here in issue number two, I really felt like it didn't have the same fire that issue number one had and all the things I mentioned above. I know what they were going for in the opening battle scene with Owen and the ninjas to show how long they could battle it out undetected, but I felt like it actually got a bit tedious. There was also no real wow moment either. And I just felt like the writing by Robert Kirkman in this particular issue really didn't pack much of a punch. The art on the other hand done by Chris Samney and the color by Matt Wilson was still really good. Now even though issue number two of Firepower didn't blow me away, I feel like there's still a lot of great potential and surprises in the future for the flamethrowing Owen Johnson. All right, guys, have you read Firepower issue number two? And if you have, leave me a comment below. And if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.